Hey everybody, so Moist Critical just uploaded a video about this awesome trend that's going around about people harassing Chipotle workers by filming them in their face to give them bigger portion sizes. Usually I wouldn't just piggyback off of someone else's topic, especially like he uploaded this shit like 30 minutes ago or whatever. Anyways, it filled me with such primal rage that I just, I have to talk about this because it's so fucking frustrating how this is even a thing that that people go and do it is fucking ridiculous so i say we just kind of talk about it a little bit huh let's watch a couple and let me just complain about them because that's what i like to do first up we've got one that that's just fucking this one sucks so can i get a bowl uh, can i get white rice i get white rice <laughs> is that <laughs> throughout this entire video i'm gonna be incredibly nitpicky and rude but uh and I'm gonna tag people for things that don't matter. Um, but these are bad people, and I don't really care. This bitch's fucking laugh is the most annoying thing I've ever- Any girl with this fucking laugh is an obnoxious bitch, alright? I'm not like an incel or anything, but I can't be the only one who thinks that. That specific laugh is- is the laugh of a cunt. Can I get a little more? Thank you. Can- um... Oh my god, and then she leans the camera, oh, leans the camera over, oh, I would need, need to fucking say, shut up. She didn't say anything, but, mm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm so upset. I'm so fucking angry and frustrated because you see, I do, I may not work at Chipotle, but I do work in the food service industry. Just imagining myself in this situation, not not to sound like the oh I'll let the demon out, but like I would genuinely get fired because I could not handle some shit like this, some some fucking actual like fetal alcohol syndrome cunt fucking motherfucker who does some shit like this comes in is like oh. oh, oh. And then peeks their fucking shit ass phone in front of me. It's like it, it, it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get so much fucking worse. Trust me. Can I get some black beans? You see, at this point, I I hate to keep interjecting like this. Uh, I I it's at this point I feel like it's it's one of two things. Uh, one, this is staged between friends, and two, uh, this guy is just being an extremely good sport about all this. Which in that case, good on him. Okay, so my game theory of her being an absolute bitch has just been confirmed. Uh, editor, can you go back a little bit to those fucking nails, please? How many inches is that? It sticks off of her goddamn finger. Look, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna seem like a real fucking boomer here, but I just do not understand this fucking fingernail bullshit. I don't get how anyone can use a, a phone and be like... All the fucking time. I do not understand that. It is ridiculous. This is a completely different tangent, but I am just heated right now. I am not happy. Um, anyways, can I get some sour cream? Um. <laughs> what the fuck? Can I get some guac? Okay, so that just kind of ends abruptly there. I have, I, I really don't feel like that's real, but I'm still upset anyways, and we're gonna move on to another one. Leaving Chipotle after this. First of all, okay, I've never been to Chipotle and I never plan to. Why the fuck are there four tortillas? I, I as someone who doesn't know anything about the menu, what what is going on here? So throughout this entire fucking video, as this guy is is like, oh, can I have more of that stuff? He's and not only is he talking like he's fucking overdosing on Xanax, he's fucking tapping on the glass like he's an autistic kid in a fucking aquarium. It's actually ridiculous that a fully grown human being, everyone knows not to tap on the glass of anything. I don't care if there's like a snake in there uh, or if it's another human being on the other side. Are you fucking stupid? Obviously. I don't know, and then I'll do some black beans. Can I get some more black beans on the right? And then a little more black beans in the middle. I'll do some black beans. I'll do some black beans. Fuck you. And then I'll do chicken. I said chicken, chicken uh, not chicken El Pastor. <laughs> I mean, how entitled of a stain on the fucking planet do you have to be for someone to to just confirm which kind of chicken for you to just go back after you're done, you're sitting back in your fucking car probably, making up this shitty TikTok no one wants to fucking watch, and you have the 
fucking the gall, the chutzpah, the balls to type out in post to make fun of this fucking employee who's just doing their goddamn job, to, who doesn't instantly know what kind of fucking chicken you want, actually die. All right, so here's one that has some like actual quote unquote production value to it. Let's check out this one. Standing outside of Chipotle right now, everyone is saying if you record them giving you your order, they're gonna give you a massive bowl. Hello, how old? You are a bad person, a genuinely bad person. If I want anything to come from this video, I just want anyone to know this. If you do this or have even considered it, you are a bad person. How are you? Burrito bowl to go, please. White rice, black beans, chicken. What the fuck do you mean, dude? That looks like a regular ass bowl to me. I, again, I'm not a fucking Chipotle veteran here or anything, but that looks like plenty fine to me. Salsa, get some corn too. Here we go. You guys saw me order it. So we're opening it up, haven't tampered with it at all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite disappointed. Why? Th there is plenty there. What do you mean you're disappointed? Oh my god. Especially when Chipotle is posting this on their TikTok, making it look like they're gonna give us the biggest bowl of all time. And then I see other people recording their bowls and they're getting the biggest bowls of all time. Okay, so my biggest thing here is, yeah, maybe the portion sizes have gotten smaller, and yeah, that kind of sucks. But do you really think that warrants just harassing every, like, Ch Chipotle employee? Like, that's their fucking choice? So we should move on to the last one. The one that actually inspired this whole thing. It was in Charlie's video, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in this one. Things are gonna get fucking rough, because this video is genuinely hard to watch. So I say we just uh, hop right into it. Uh, I'll get a bowl, yeah, uh, for, for, to go. All right, first of all, look at this fucking retard. How do you go out in public and you just stand like that? I don't fucking get it. How do you not have any respect for yourself or any other human being? Did, did you do shit like this? I rice with that. Uh, we'll do pinto beans with that. Pinto beans, any? I have a little theory that I just crafted in my brain, that uh, the shot from earlier where it shows like how this fucking retard is positioned, I'm going to say that it probably cut off because he's standing at even more extreme of a freaking retard angle that this just makes him look even worse. There is no way that anyone could have watched this video and been like, yeah, yeah, this is, this is an acceptable good thing to do. Yeah, this is okay. So beans, any protein for you? Uh, we'll do uh, chicken, please. Chicken, any queso uh, for uh, you? Uh, we need some old chicken. In that. No, uh, we need some more chicken in that. He didn't even oh, fucking chicken put the chicken uh, on yet. We need some more chicken. He didn't even put it on yet, and you're already like, uh, no, uh, uh, I need some more chicken on that. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, my camera went out of focus. Hold on, was that was that was that say? Oh. Whoa! Where'd that come from? Gonna fire on your ass. Put that chicken in there. Again, putting myself in this guy's fucking shoes. A as if I could imagine the kind of torment this poor bastard is going through right now. <sighs> I don't know how he had the, the, like, the constraint to not just snap, like, take this dude's phone, because it wouldn't be hard. Like, the guy filming is in a very compromising position. You could easily just take his phone from him. And you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna fucking wah, 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 cry and scream about it as if he'd, like, if you'd fucking, he'd, he'd cry like you did something wrong. A little bit more. No problem. Straight up. Oh, they gonna have to hold me accountable. Nothing else? That'll be all. And if you got problems, I'll fire your ass up! Alright, so now I'm gonna fucking talk about it. I don't get where this kind of confidence to be a fucking retard came from, and it's something that I see almost exclusively on TikTok. And it bleeds into the real world, being someone who's just recently been out of high school. I've seen it a lot. These is, is people who, who see this shit on TikTok, if these people being very brave and how fucking stupid they are, and then these people are like, oh, that's kind of funny, let me do it too. And they go out in public and they're just absolute fucking nuisances and they and they embarrass themselves and they make themselves look awful and I and people are on their side. It's fucking ridiculous. Anyways, I guess we just wrap this one up then. Hold me accountable. You gonna have to hold me accountable. And that ain't no issue. Anybody in here can get it. So in a perfect world, after he says, someone gonna hold me accountable. The this guy in blue here, or something or some some hero pulls out a gun and shoots him dead. At least that's that's what I think, but but maybe maybe that's a little much.
And if you detest that, go back, watch this video again, and you have zero point. This guy is an actual leech on society, and so is everyone else who showed up in this video. Genuinely leeches on society that have zero value. You know, like I said, you know, I was inspired by the Moist Critical video. I don't I don't think he was anywhere near as mean as he should have been. So that's kind of why I made this video cuz I'm fucking ha I'm mad. I don't I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm I'm a little upset right now. Um because people think this shit is okay and it's fucking not. So uh yeah. That's about it. See ya.